From the makers of the shittest movie of all time comes the equally shitty sequel, Twilight New Moon, the continuation of the epic romance between this 109-year-old shovel face and this pathetic codependent teenager. Maybe I shouldn't be dating such an old man. It's gross. It really is gross. Witness their eternal love for each other. You're my only reason to stay here. Life that lasts a mere five minutes before she's dumped for no reason. I don't want you. You're just not good for me. Prompting his desperately obsessed ex-girlfriend to mope around for months on end so they could do this fancy shot outside her window. Until Fishface finds a new man to latch onto. A very, very shirtless man with an incredibly obvious secret. So you're a werewolf. Yeah. Who is only in the movie to create a forced love triangle for the franchise, even though they make it perfectly clear who Dead Eyes will ultimately choose. Don't make me choose, because it'll be him. It's always been him. A role model so terrible and reckless, she'll encourage all angsty teenagers to drive off on motorcycles with complete strangers, jump off cliffs, Slap shirtless weird dudes. Calm down now. Stand between vampires and large deadly werewolves. Travel to foreign countries without telling their parents. And drown themselves to see hallucinations of their ex-boyfriends. I'm pretty sure this makes her a schizophrenic. Prepare yourself for a movie filled with placeholder dialogue that wasn't changed from the first draft. How about face? Punch. Do you guys want to go see Face Punch? Face Punch, yeah. I remember the trailer's like, <laughs> yeah. punch faces. And werewolves that rip out of their clothes but always seem to get their shorts back. Seriously, do they keep stashes of jean shorts hidden around the forest? But when Shovel Face is in danger of flashing children, just smelled Poop Face will ignore the months of unnecessary turmoil he's caused her and ride to save him on an airline that enforces the abstinence metaphor, leading to a rush climax that will leave you wondering, who are these random last minute villains? Starring more fake contacts, more abs, more of the actress who can't seem to ever close her mouth. Even more stairs. New Moon. Just watch True Blood instead. At least they get naked on that show. Don't forget to watch this week's Screen Junkies episode, where dads answer Twilight trivia for their daughters. We made an 11 year old cry. And tell me something you'd like to hear me say in my epic voice. This is not a democracy anymore. That's so Raven. Oh, oh God, not the bees. Not the bees. Oh, they're in my eyes, my eyes, the bees.